Are you going to tell Dr. Storper? No. You think this was a huge mistake? No, I, I just don't want him to get distracted. He reads into everything. That's his job. I think that you should tell him. We're on a schedule. It's all about flying. Hi, I thought I heard voices. So you must be Mr. and Mrs. Koopman. Are you ready for our confrontation session? Michael, Claire. I see you've met my new colleague, Dr. Lawson. Sorry, I thought you were my first appointment. I'm sharing the space with Dr. Lawson. You're sharing the space? Well, there's a wall. It's a temporary wall. A very sturdy, retractable wall. It's amazing, actually. Uh, you can barely tell the difference. The real wall will go up in what? Two weeks. Ah, wow, this is amazing, but if you'll excuse me. Sorry. Sorry. Ah, these must be the Coopermans. Hi, mm -hmm. why don't you go on through? It's good to see you. She's good, she's a good doctor. I'm very excited about this partnership. Okay. Michael's moved in. He didn't want to tell you. Oh. Well, it's more of a, of a platonic arrangement. It was my idea. I needed help with Sophie. Well, how's it going? Well, it's hard. Oh, my God. It is so small. N no, it isn't. W why is it hard? Well, it's weird. I keep forgetting that he's better. I mean, even out there, I thought he was having a panic attack. But he just had to pee. Oh, my God. It is so small. No, it isn't. Look, <clears throat> same old chairs. Have a seat. OK, I'm going to run. Bye, guys. Fix that brain. <clears throat> I, I hate this. No, no, it's, it's just different. You're not used to it. A, a lot of things have changed in your life recently, but this, this is still your place, your sanctuary, a zone of quiet ref reflection. <laughs> gotta get up, gotta get out, gotta get home before the morning comes. So, no more airplane pictures? Oh, I had to take them down because of the wall. Do you want me to put them back up here? No, no, the pictures don't phase me at all. In fact, uh, neither do the plane crash videos, and I've watched hours of them. I told you you didn't have to watch those anymore. We, we've determined that you don't have a fear of planes crashing. No, I am not afraid of a fiery death. So what's next? How are things going at Claire's? Oh, she told you. Well, she mentioned that you moved in. <laughs> I don't want to spend too much time on chit-chat, because uh, we've only got a couple of sessions left before I have to fly. It's not chit-chat. Tell me about it. Uh, it's good. It's great. Sophie's like six, and she talks and runs around a lot, and actually she kind of hogs the remote. What's it like sharing a bathroom? Did Claire say something? No, no, no. I just noticed that you were a little fidgety when you got here this morning. I don't know. I, I just can't go when people are around, and so lately I've been kind of blocked. Do you have trouble going when there are other people in the apartment or when there's someone outside the door? I just need to know that I'm alone. Uh, there's this Chinese takeout place across from Claire's that I'd go, and it's fine. All these Chinese takeout places let you pee as long as you order bobo balls or something. Can we just focus on a fear of flying? How long have you had this issue? We can't get bogged down by this. I have to fly in a week. Michael, there's a reason that this is occurring in the aftermath of the panic attack at the airport. We have to address it now. Will you have Claire's apartment to yourself this afternoon? Yeah. Okay, I, I want you to go there and just start drinking. And then I want you to experiment with your stream. Just pee, uh, let it go for a while, and then stop and hold it for, say, 10 seconds. Then try again and hold it for 15 seconds. Seriously, what does this have to do with my fear of flying? Something. We'll find out. Trust me. Beth, I have a lunch appointment. I'll be back in an hour. Take your time. Mr. Ogilvy called. That is so far from funny, Beth. His brother. He needed some information about you and the incident. He sounded quite distraught. Well, he's probably trying to make sense of it. Or he's thinking of suing. And Visa called, said it was urgent. You know, I came out of the office happy, and you're chipping away at that happiness. It's your life. I just report it. Ah, David. Ah, Dr. Lawson. How was your morning? It was lovely, thank you. And please call me Meredith. You seem chipper. I'm trying to be. Finally feel like I'm coming out of a bit of a slump. Uh, I've been going through a divorce. 
Oh, I had no idea. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, thank you. Well, it's never easy. But uh, recently, this former patient of mine has turned up, and things looking up. We've had some success in the past, so it's, it's, it's nice to be on familiar ground to feel that I can really help this man. Oh, yeah. Do you know what? It's times like these that make it seem all worthwhile, isn't it? I was so curious about that, um, what was it, confrontation session. The Coopermans? <laughs> oh, wow, they really embrace the exercise. Seems like a very um, therapeutic, uh, cathartic technique. Oh, it is. I mean, when you encourage people to unleash their passions wholeheartedly, such amazing and exciting things can happen, David. Actually, I'm writing a paper on it, and I would love to bounce some concepts off you, if you're game. Of course. We could grab a drink later in the week, maybe? Sure. <laughs> Let's go to the singles bar around the corner. Well, we're both single. Arguably. Great. Nice car, by the way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm just, um, I'm, uh, I'm washing up. I have to draft up five wills. Weird, huh? So I thought I'd just work here and we can hang. Oh, sorry, I was just about to go to the library. Got some work to do, too. Okay, we can work together. Oh, no, I really gotta focus. Oh, no, but I'm not gonna bug you. I'm just gonna be sitting there typing and sighing occasionally, yawning. No, 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 I, I'm going a little stir-crazy. I gotta get out there in the world, you know? <laughs> You. Aren't you perky? Yeah, well, you know, things are looking up. You know, the money's been tight lately, so in the spirit of pragmatism, uh, I'm sharing my space with a colleague. That is and impressive. Yeah, yeah. Good for you. That is the first positive step you've taken in a long time. That's good. You, you know, you haven't been a real barrel of laughs. Well, you know, I, 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 I think that we have a real rapport. Who does? My new colleague and I. She has a lot of a really interesting techniques that I'm not quite up on. She does. Interesting techniques. When I talk to Meredith, when you call it names, Meredith, when I talk to her about her approach, I just, it's like a tonic. I could really use a tonic myself right now in the form of a wine list. But that doesn't look like that's gonna happen. So, in the meantime, if you could just sign these forms there for exposure, I need to get back to that. Wow, you are seriously stressed. Mm hmm I am stressed. I'm actually very stressed because we were just about to launch the show in China and all you have to do is sign these okay. stupid forms, but I gotta go back and run our show by myself that my co-creator didn't want to do because he had qualms. Okay, you know, we're friends now, right? I just wanna make a suggestion. I think that you would benefit from a little bit of therapy. First of all, don't need any more friends and I don't need therapy, but what I do need is a wine list. Jesus Christ, that's not a big ask. Start. Stop. Start. 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 This is the men's room at the National Arts Center. Great acoustics in there. So you just took your recorder. Wait, wait. This, the... this is this is um, the Rideau Center, if I'm not mistaken. Is that you peeing? No, no, it's other people. Oh, of course, that would have been much easier. Hey, what are you doing? Yeah, that that was the Rideau Center. I'm not sure it's the sound of other people peeing that's the issue. I think it's more the idea that they're hearing me. Well, you need to remember that other people are thinking about their own problems. They're thinking about work, what to make for dinner. They don't care what's happening one urinal down. You should try going in a noisy, frenetic environment, like a train station bathroom. Ew. 
I just mean somewhere where it's clear that people are busy and distracted. What, what is it that worries you about people hearing you pee? Well, I, I don't know what they're thinking. Maybe they're like, ew, listen to that guy. Listen to his urine hit the bowl, ugh. What do you think when you hear me pee? David? What's going on? You mentioned that I was stressed. And you went on and on about Meredith. So. Which was very kind of you, by the way. So I just called her up out of the blue, and we gabbed like sisters for, yeah. you know, half an hour. <laughs> you were right. She is a tonic. A tonic. Wow. Thanks for the referral, David. Oh, it's nothing. Come on, Sammy. So. Interesting development. No, it isn't. Buddhists talk about the human need to feel in control. The damage we do to ourselves and to others when we try running our relationships with an iron fist. There is freedom, they say, in, in, in the Buddhist concept of surrender. It takes much less energy to release our grip than it does to maintain it. And yet, the courage required to, well, fuck it. Guys are home early. Yeah, every Ugh. second Thursday is a half day. Didn't I tell you? Every second Thursday. Guess what? We're making you a favorite comfort meal. Oh, you don't have to do that. We'll craft dinner with cut up hot dogs just to show you how happy we are to have you here, right, Soby? Hey, honey, isn't it time for your show? It's time for your show, right, baby? Yeah. Go! Sorry, she inhaled a box of Smarties before I could get to her. Sorry, life of the Smarties fans. Yeah, it's fine. I'll, I'll be right back. It's okay. Nobody cares about what we're doing. Are you going pee? Oh, God. <laughs> oh. Wait, are you going somewhere? Just gonna get some bubble balls for an after dinner snack. Be right back. These are called again, Dr. Storfer. They're sounding a tad gruff now. I'll get to it, Myth. Thank you. Oh, you're in the wrong spot. I'm just going over some files. I rearranged everything when Dr. Lawson started. That's her shelf. This is yours here. There's only one file on my shelf. You have one active patient. So the upshot of what I've just said, Dr. Storper, is that file isn't yours. Well, they're all my files, aren't they, Beth, considering it's my office? I thought we were sharing an office. Oh, hi. Uh, I, I was just saying to Beth that as senior partner... Ooh, senior partner. This isn't a law firm. I know it's not a law firm. Could I have my file, please, David? This is wildly unprofessional. There was a mix-up. No, it wasn't. Because uh, Beth complicated the filing system. She simplified it, actually. And yet, somewhat in keeping. In keeping? In keeping with what? In... In keeping. What did you intend to find in her files, huh? You think she talked about your sex life? What you're like in a sex? I don't know. Maybe. 
Nobody wants to talk about having sex with you. You've been married, what, uh, 25 years? <sighs> Elvis left the building a long time ago. We've been married four years. Only four years? That's pretty early for Elvis to have left the building. Elvis has not left the building. Elvis <laughs> is still in the building. We don't have a problem like that. If you're not worried that she's in there talking with your sexy colleague about how repulsed she is by your penis, then what are you worried about? I just wanted to know what she was thinking yeah. about, about our life together. Uh -huh. I just wanted to know why she was still so angry. She's not angry. She's bored. You think this stuff is interesting reading? I read this stuff so I can fall asleep at night. After two decades. Four years. She's over it. She does not care about you at all. And the best thing you can hope for with your colleague is that she doesn't care about you at all either. Now, so what do you do? You refer your wife to her. Then you go snooping through her files. She probably thinks you intended to do that all along. I did not refer her. My God. Did you plan to do it all along? No, I did not. Oh, my God, you unethical son of a bitch. You're a genius. OK, and stop. Have you stopped? OK, stopping. And I've stopped. And now here I am, a stranger, uh, joining you at the next urinal. Uh, dum -da -dum -da -dum. Ready? Now let it go. Release. Okay. Huh? I'm doing it. Look, that's amazing. Did you see that? Yes, that's tremendous, Michael. Oh. It was weirdly helpful when you told me to think of you as a stranger. I thought, oh boy, I hope this guy leaves soon so I can finish peeing for Dr. Storper. I was so focused on the exercise, I didn't care about him. And I realized he didn't care about me either. Well, what about people you do care about, like me and Claire? Well, with strangers, I'm not going to worry about what they think about because they're strangers. And with loved ones, well, they're loved ones. They're not gonna judge me, right? Right! It was thrilling to see you finally lose your inhibitions. Gentlemen, I'm afraid I'm gonna to have to ask you to leave the library. We've had some complaints. Oh, it's okay, I'm a doctor. <laughs> that's, that's, it's fine. Okay, Sammy, look, I'm glad you texted. And I, I don't know what Meredith has told you, you but what- You were right. Meredith is great. She's good. I wouldn't say she's great. I Look. cannot tell you how much more grounded I feel after speaking to her. It's like she shines this flashlight into the dark, fuzzy parts of your brain. It's like cleaning out an old closet. Anyway, I know that, you know, all my problems aren't going to be solved after two sessions. Yeah, because that's not possible. David? She has a kind of uh, freight train approach that I don't agree with. She just sort of barrels in there with, with, with her confrontations, and it's destructive. She said you'd do that. Do what? Undermine me. No, I'm undermining her. No, you're undermining my therapist, who I've just been praising. OK, I'm really sorry, but I have to do something. Meredith advised me, and I wasn't sure, but I think for my own peace of mind, we can't have any more contact. What? Claire? Where are you? I'm in here, Michael. Claire, what's wrong? Are we friends? Yeah, of course we are. OK, because how come you never want to spend any time here? Are you worried that we'll end up fooling around again? Because I thought that we were both pretty clear. No, the... no, 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 that's not it. Well, does it gross you out? Sophie and me and all of our mom and kid stuff? No, I love your stuff. So then how come you can't spend like five minutes with us? Because I don't want you to judge me. Storper was right. I, I thought he was wasting my time, but it's just like the fear of flying. I don't want to be judged. I don't understand. What... Come with me. I need to show you something. It's really important to me. I think, I've, I think I've already seen it. An awareness that we are often judged by others is a necessary component of a healthy and integrated adult life. But a preoccupation with that kind of judgment can be paralyzing. At those times, we must muster every ounce of faith we have in ourselves and put our best foot forward. Hi, David. Hi. 
been waiting long. No, I came early because I had some work to do. Um, sure. Meredith, I want to apologize for the misunderstanding yesterday. I'm with you, absolutely. But I, I have to take exception to the word misunderstanding. Disagreement. There wasn't a disagreement. Agreement to disagree. David, you're looking at your ex-wife's file. I don't think we disagree on that point. I disagree with your characterization of me. I haven't characterized you. As some kind of an obsessive, uh, stalking, uh, control freak of an ex-husband. That is some characterization, but it hasn't come from me. I just care about Sammy. And, and I know I, I was indulgent of your techniques when we spoke earlier. Indulgent. But I think your particular brand of therapy is not right for Sammy. Telling her to cut off contact with me, for instance, is reckless. Reckless? You and I have different approaches to therapy. <laughs> you have your, your, your short-term, goal-oriented stuff. Right, efficiency, goal-setting. Do you know, you would be amazed how effective these things can be when you have more than one patient. I'll, I'll have another one. Come on right up. The judgment of others it can ground us or it can diminish us, make us feel small, repulsive even. Still, we need other people around us. Peers, colleagues, loved ones, friends. We need a safety net for when things get tough. Dr. David Storper. Dr. Storper, this is Miriam at Visa Customer Services. I'm afraid we have a not-so-slight problem. Uh-huh.